Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to fix inaccessible partition and make it reusable. Actually this problem could be due to many reasons including file system corruption or drive letter assignment or partition damage, virus or malware or unallocated space. So today we'll learn how to fix that issue. I have already inserted my storage but it is not showing in Windows Explorer. We need to go to the disk management to see if the storage is mounted. Here we can see all the available partition for our problematic disk. But when you click on properties, you will see that there is no space showing or it's inaccessible. You will see a error message if you click on check for error checking. Because Windows can't read the disk and the method we showed in the last video that won't work here so in this video we will clean the disk and try to solve the problem although this problem can be solved without disk clean but in this case third party software needs to be used we will learn this method another day so let's see how to solve the problem open cmd and type disk part and press enter type list disk you will see the available disk here select the desired disk now type select disk and your desired disk in my case 2 and press enter now type clean and press enter your entire disk will be cleaned permanently now type create partition primary As you can see, disk part succeeded in creating the partition. Now, you need to convert the disk. Type format and your file system or fs is equal to ntfs. That your file system. You can use FAT32 or another and type quick as you can see that dixpart failed to format the disk and dixpart has encountered error and it could not format the disk so let's format the disk another way now open disk management again and select your clean disk and delete volume it will delete your volume and now create a simple partition as usual now it will formatting and prepare your disk for use as you can see all storage information showing correctly our problem is solved partition related videos link will be provided in this video description so let's copy some files and see if it works as you can see it's work normally let's try if the disks work after rejecting so eject the disk and remount it and let's check if it work as you can see everything all fine thanks for watching